What's up guys, Steve Realty here and welcome to a brand new series today where I am joined by Guardy FIFA. Would you like to say hello? Hey guys. That's and it. also the B minus gamer, would you like to say hello? Hello. Alright, that was very scary. Well today we're gonna be looking at the best fullback in FIFA 15 career mode. We also did a best goalkeeper video over on the B minus's channel and also the best center back in FIFA 15 over on Guardy's channel. And we're looking to do more of these in the future. So if you guys like these, be sure to leave a like and also comment any other I guess suggestions for different videos we can do together in the comment section. But without any further ado, we have a bracket of all the players listed below as you guys can see on your screen, and then we'll go ahead and get started into the video itself. So first up in the bracket, we have Danilo versus Haidzara. Danilo will be championed by Guardi FIFA. I will be taking control of Haidzara. Why don't you go ahead and explain first why you think Danilo is the best fullback in FIFA 15? Mate, you're going to make my job a bit too easy here. Now, if you just take a look at his stats and find an orange stat, you'll be looking for a while because there is no orange stat. He's got yellow stats everywhere. If you grow him enough, I'm sure that they all get to green because he's got an 85 potential and I'm pretty sure that everything gets above green. Balance, I believe, is his lowest stat that I'm looking at right now, 66. I'm quite sure if he grows another 6 or 7 overall, that'll jump up close to that 80, 80 rating. So you're going to have a, a right back that has everything, can go forward, can come back. He's an absolute beast with a high medium work rate. Um, he will come back fast enough, but he's bombing down very quickly as well. So he's going to provide you a lot of attacking threat if you play counter-attacking football. He's the perfect right back in my opinion, uh, and that's why he's the highest rated, and that's why he is the best right back in career mode. Well, I mean, I've said this on your guys' videos as well, but Hydzara has a real life face in game, which just makes him already <laughs> better. <laughs> He this will not better. be funny if this is the first video that you watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really won't. Uh, Itzara is the um, has real life face in game, and obviously, players. I like myself. I like that you know real life feel as the you know you're playing a game, you're playing career mode. You can see their real life face in game, and on top of that, he when he hits his potential, when he hits somewhere around there, his stats are very very well rounded. Such as Danilo, he doesn't have the greatest of finishing or shooting, but other than that, he's very solid. Has pretty decent passing, pretty decent. I guess the defending and mentality as well and once he hits that potential he'll be I guess equally as good as Danilo but it's a fair point you guys ready to vote yeah there's no way he's gonna be better than Danilo he doesn't even have a green start come on shut up hey he has a real life face <laughs> that's all you guys need. I will say that I listened to both arguments and it didn't change my mind <laughs> of course yes. it didn't yes right. I want it I know you guys ready to vote <laughs> yeah you guys ready to yeah. reveal? All right, yeah. three, yeah. two, one, go. You guys go first. Danilo. Hi, Dara. <laughs> Danilo. <laughs> of course. I mean, you were blabbering. Both of you guys were blabbering on for a really long time. I just looked at the stats, and one is green and one is yellow. <laughs> so, I'm like, all right. No I knew contest. Danilo was going to win, but there was always hope. No, yeah. it wasn't. Oh. Next up, we have DeMarcos versus Jordan Amavi. I will be taking control of Amavi. B minus, you'll be taking control of DeMarcos. Go ahead and explain why. DeMarcos, Oscar DeMarcos is one of the best players in career mode, period, and he's probably the most underrated player. He's one of the best players that no one ever talks about. Look at, just not in the right back position, just look at all the positions he can play. Right back, right winger, cam, and center mid. He could probably play the CDM. I know that Sam isn't <laughs> into all these types of uh, playing them out of position if they aren't listed. But let me go ahead and tell you some of his key stats, guys. 91 sprint speed, 89 acceleration, 85 agility, 87 reactions. Reactions is a very, very underrated trait, especially for uh, a defensive player because when that ball gets hit loose they're the first ones to go ahead and pounce on it and with that speed he can just pounce on it like a puma and he's got 91 stamina so he's fucking running all day long and he's got the speedster trait he's got decent short passing up to 76 and uh, he's that's not the only thing he's got he's got good crossing he's got 80 for crossing he's got decent jumping he's got pretty good shot power and actually 66 at finishing he can actually knock it in a couple if you get him into a good position he's uh, I would argue better than Danilo in some aspects I would say that he's the best one of the best fullbacks in the game Oscar DeMarcos all right well Amavi I just want to throw this out there how old is Oscar DeMarcos you 25 know how old he is? 25, 25. Okay, so he's already kind of at his peak. He can grow for a few more seasons for sure, but 
I think Jordan Amabi is 20 years of age. He's 5'9", 154 pounds. He's a pretty decent sized left back, has a potential of 80 overall, and can play left mid on top of that left wing, uh, left back position, I should say. And has some pretty good stats as well. Pretty good uh, sprint speed and acceleration at 84 sprint speed, 80 acceleration, 77 agility, 75 balance. So he's pretty good on that left hand side as well. 76 crossing for a left back is pretty good, especially when he is only 72 rated right now. So you can only imagine how good that crossing will be when he hits his peak of 80 and could even outgrow that for you. Also has 80 jumping as one of his main attributes. So if he does, you know, manage to mark someone in the box, he could easily uh, jump and hit that ball. But I, I don't know. It could go either way on this one. You guys ready to vote? Uh, as for jumping and heading, uh, DeMarcos is 5'11 and is 84 jumping. So, Well, Amavi's not at his peak yet. So, <laughs> so I think he's okay. at his peak at growing, though. I don't think he grows in height. Hey. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready to vote. Right, one second. All right. Three, two, one. Boom. DeMarcos. Am Amavi. DeMarcos. But I do want to say something. I don't have a problem with playing people out of their position. I have a problem with playing <laughs> center backs in defensive mid. That specific one. Any other one okay. is perfectly fine. I do like DeMarcos' <laughs> versatility, and he's very, very good. To know what we're laughing about, go ahead and watch the center back video on Guardi's channel. <laughs> Verana defensive Great banter. Mid. Come on. All right, in our next matchup, we have Alexandro versus Deshilio. Deshilio will be championed by B minus. Why don't you go ahead and go first? No, you have it the other way around. I'm I'm doing Sandro. <laughs> oh, other way around. Okay, Guardi, go first. All right, Deshilio. Uh, he's quite a low overall uh, initially, but he's 21 years of age. Um, two years younger than Alexandro. These are actually both my picks, so it's quite difficult to actually, you know, differentiate them. But uh, better sprint speed than uh, Alexandro, which I think when you're playing right back, acceleration isn't too important. I think you're going to be bombing down for a very long time, so I think sprint speed is a bit more important. 86 sprint speed compared to Alexandro's 82. Um, the stamina is very, uh, pretty much the same, uh, 82 to 85. Alexandro does notch it, but I think 82 is still decent enough for uh, a fullback. The one thing I'll point for Mattia Deshiglio, the one thing I think he edges out Alexandro in is the fact that he can play left back and right back and he can play both of them incredibly well he has four star weak foot um high medium work rate and yeah if you can play left back and right back that is uh, a trait that you know a fullback in my opinion needs to have and with sandro i don't think he could play uh right back he's left footed and he's only got uh two star weak foot so i think you'd have to play him at left back whereas the Shigley, you get a bit more freedom and that's where i think he edges it out over alexandro all right, B minus your rebuttal. All right, so I admittedly have never used Alexandro, and you know what? I'm not even gonna look at Alexandro's stats. This is how I'm gonna argue this: is we're gonna take a look at Decilia right here. I'm just gonna talk shit about him. Let's look at this guy right here. Let's look at his face, wow. and I'm gonna say one thing: this man, this is the face of a loser. Matteo Decilio, look at him, and this is my argument, guys. All right, we're we're looking at it right now on Sofia for right now. June 26th, his rating, his potential 73 with a potential of 81. Let's go ahead. Let's take. Let's go ahead and take a look into the history books. Let's rewind the clocks back to when this game first came out. Let's go at October 31st. Let's go to a little Halloween. Hmm. What was his potential back then? Oh, let me see. Yes, he was a 76 overall with an 86 potential. He was the best. Uh, basically like the best right back left back that you could get in the game at the start of FIFA 15 but this is at the end of FIFA 15 and he has shown his true colors he is shit now man dude he has gone he's downgraded progressively every single throughout the whole entire year he's just gone on a downhill slope do you want a guy with a downhill slope on your team I do not think so choose the other guy I forgot his name um, okay, let's choose the other guy. Alexandro had a potential of 84 back in February. Now has a potential of 83. Ooh. So he's also going, gone down. And I do want to point out that Mattia De Shiglio's decrease is probably due to the fact that AC Milan performed poorly and the whole team has actually got downgrades in various positions. So I'm just saying, mate. I'm just saying. All right, that was a decrease of one. Yours is a decrease of, of how many? I don't know. You're the one who was Three. bringing out the, uh, the bullshit. Five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go ahead and write down who you guys are voting for. I'm ready when you guys are. I'm ready. Alright, I'm 
ready. I'm ready. All right, three, two, one, go. Other guy, the Shiglio. <laughs> the Shiglio. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Damn it. I think one thing you guys forgot to point out, at least Guardy, one thing you forgot to point out in that argument is the Shiglio has a real face. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> the real face I, I of a loser. That so much to you. <laughs> of a loser. <laughs> no, that ends. I think he's just you know easier to sign in crew mode as well. 73 rated, gonna be a lot cheaper than Alexandro. So that on top of it, definitely a better option. All right. So our next matchup, we have Yetro Willems versus Nathaniel Klein. B minus is gonna take control of Willems. Go ahead and explain why you think he's the best fullback in FIFA 15. Four star weak foot. Four star skill moves. Oh my goodness, 84 potentials, got 85 sprint speed, 90 jumping, 82 stamina, 80 ball control, 77 dribbling, 84 crossing. Defensive stats, let me get on to this. Maybe not the best, but going forward, he's pretty spectacular, guys. He's one of the best, if not the best, attacking uh, fullbacks in the game. He's got the flare trait. He's got giant throw-in. Who has that? I don't even know how to use that, but he's got it. <laughs> Williams. All right, well, fair enough. But Nathaniel Klein, does does Yetra Williams have a real face in game? I think so. <laughs> you and your yeah, he, does. Faces. he doesn't. He does? No, he does. He doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Nathaniel doesn't. Klein, however, <laughs> does have a real life face in game. <laughs> But that's not the main reason why you should Fucking pick him. He has a potential of 80 overall. He's, of course, English, and you're not going to find many good English players. Let's be real here, guys. You're not going to find many good English players, especially if you're playing in the BPL and you want to have uh, English players in your league, in your team. You're not going to be able to sign many good ones, but he is one of those that are very good, that is very good. And he also has 87 stamina, which means he can go up and down the pitch with ease, has great great sprint speed 86 overall in that regard 87 acceleration 83 balance as well and his defending attributes are also very good for someone that's 76 rated has 80 standing tackling and 80 slide tackling so i think he's very good in that regard and can also get forward a bit has 71 shot power on top of that also has uh, 73 jumping and 70 strength so he's not the weakest of right backs for sure and i think he overall is better than getro williams in my opinion at least so you guys ready to vote yes I am ready. My body is ready. All right. Three, two, one. Reveal. Klein. Jet throw Williams. <laughs> I put Klein as well. Um, take oh, away. Yes. I take even away. drew a picture of a jet. <laughs> you assholes. <laughs> <laughs> you take away the four star weak foot and four star skill moves, especially the skill moves. I don't find myself skilling with Williams that much. Um, and Klein just outclasses him everywhere in the speed, in the tackling, um, yeah, stamina, everything that you need in a right back, in my opinion. Klein has it. But, Williams. But Williams can play both sides. But is he Nathaniel Klein? Mm. Well, honestly, uh, <laughs> I championed Klein as well, so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not too butthurt about this. So moving on to the semi-final, we first have Danilo versus Nathaniel Klein, and I'm going to go ahead and let Guardi take control of Danilo. Go for it. Well, we already pretty much told you why Danilo is the best. Um, you've already seen, everybody knows about his stats. Uh, of course, if you play Ultimate Team, you know that he has a card with 80 on all those main six stats. So you know that he's an all-round beast. I don't really have to talk too much about why he's better than Klein. Um, he starts off at a higher rating. He's got a higher potential. Uh, he's got four-star weak foot, which I find very good in a fullback. Um, I think that's a pretty underrated, um, I guess, aspect of FIFA's players. I, I, a lot of people don't look at weak foot. I usually do. And the fact that he's got four-star weak foot means that I don't have to worry about which side I'm running to or which side his foot, you know, where he's passing. I just pass it because he's got four-star weak foot. He's pretty comfortable. Um, so, yeah, for me, all round, he's better. Uh, defensive, attacking, and just pretty much anywhere on the field, I think. Uh, Danilo is a better right back than Nathaniel Klein. Alright, well, B minus, since Klein was technically your champion to begin with, do you want to take control of him? Oh shit, I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you could. <laughs> you want me to do it? Yeah, go for it. 
So I have to take a look <laughs> right, I'll do it. I thought you were gonna do it. I thought you were gonna continue on. No, it was technically yours. So I was gonna let you go for it, but I'll take it. It's fine. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> As I said before, he's English. Has a real life facing game, which Danilo does not, so he wins there automatically. <laughs> As well, I said it before, 87 stamina, and he can get up and down the pitch with that stamina. Also has an 80 overall naked. potential, so. Yeah, well, naked. yeah, but he's already higher rated. Exactly. Nathaniel Klein, once he hits potential. his potential. Yeah, Daniel, when he hits his potential, but, it will be even higher. But, 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 Nathaniel Klein is English, and yeah. English people like signing their English players. Yeah. So, yeah. Is Danilo English? <laughs> no, he's Brazilian. Um, no, he's not. I believe Brazil is the nation that's won the most World Cups. I could be wrong about that. God damn it. <laughs> you guys ready to record? Ready to vote? Yeah. I'm ready to vote, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Mine is written down. Wait, one second. Okay, never mind. I'm good. Alright. Three, two, one, go! You guys are Fine. I wrote. Does he have a real face, bro? Oh, damn it. So he won. <laughs> so so Klein I, won? Yeah. I don't, yes, going, <laughs> I don't know why you're going, god damn it. Because <laughs> I wasn't sure uh, if you yeah. were going for Danilo or not. No, I'm going with I'm going with Clyde. I never used Danilo. I like his stats a lot, but I like a little bit more of pace, and it's just a personal preference of every single time that I started Klein, he's been uber reliable. Um, he's been uber uber good, and uh, does he have a real face? He does. Yes, you he does. just voted yes, against Daniel. <laughs> I hope yes, people. In the, I hope people in the comments kill you. Right here, guys. <laughs> Fraud. <laughs> how much? How much did uh, did you pay FIFA there? Huh? You're a briber, aren't you, Tyler? No. Hashtag IRL face or riot. Oh, come on. <laughs> <IRL face for laughs> life. This is ridiculous. All right, next up we have the battle of the D. Demarcos versus Deshilio. Who's gonna go first? Any go. volunteers? I'll go first. You can go first. Okay, go for it. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna double down. <laughs> Deshilio is a loser. Look at him at the start of this game. He has gone all the way down to a lowly, lowly. 81. Yes, you can get him probably for a little bit of a discounted. And as Guardy said, yeah, it does. It does. It's because AC Milan went bad throughout the season. Well, I'm sorry if they did, and I'm sorry if they got downgraded, but this isn't real life football. This is career mode. And if you want career mode, if you want a good player in your pullback position, it's a no brainer right here. You choose DeMarcos. He's got amazing, he's got better speed, better stamina, better defensive stats. And he's got incredible, incredible versatility. He can play all along the right side. He can play in the center. You can put him in at CDM when you need to. And you know every single time you're going to get these BS injuries and you're going to need a player to fit into a slot. And DeMarcos will always be there for you. He'll hold you. He'll tell you everything's going to be all right. DeMarcos. If we're talking about uh, full back. A full back, all right. We're not talking about if they can play defensive mid. He cannot play left back. That's one thing. But I'm not gonna try and like be smart here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pander <laughs> to Tyler because I know he's the decision. Oh no! Does, oh, no. does Demarcos have a real face? Oh. Yes or no? no, Tyler? Yes or no? <laughs> yes. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the Shiglio? Oh wait, I thought we were talking about the Shilio. Yes, no, the Shilio De does. De Marcos doesn't. <laughs> the Shilio does. Can play left yes, back, right exactly. back. Yeah, four star weak foot. There we go. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I've won this round. <laughs> I've learnt my lesson. The real face is the first thing I'm going to look for from now on. Oh, we need a we need a new presenter. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready to vote? Yes, I am. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. Deshiglio. Demarcus. <laughs> Hashtag IRL face or riot. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even. This is how defeated I am. I didn't even, even finish spelling Demarcus. It's just Demar. <laughs> <laughs> how could you vote? Oh how God. could you vote for Demarcus when you just said before you voted because of the real face? You too, B minus. You voted for. <laughs> and now you're voting for someone without a real face. <laughs> All right, is the final of the best fullback in FIFA 15 career mode. We have Nathaniel Klein 
versus Deshilio. Surprise in that final position. I don't. I'm gonna let Sam go first. What do you think about Deshilio? Uh, I'm quite proud of him that he's made it to the final. Uh, I honestly didn't think it, but that real face came in handy. Unfortunately, Klein also has a real face, so I can't persuade anybody. Um, I'm just gonna pretty much make the argument that that I've made throughout the entire thing the entire bracket, and that is pretty much that we're talking about fullbacks. We're not talking about right backs, we're not talking about left back, we're talking about a complete fullback. And if you want a complete fullback, they have to play left back and right back pretty well. It's got a four star weak foot. Um, so I just think as a as a full back, not a right back, as a full back, I think Mattia De Shiglio edges it above Klein simply because he can play on both sides comfortably with a four star weak foot. Um, and that's pretty much my argument. It's gonna be a tough one though. And his potential is higher All than right, Klein's it's gonna be... Well, fair enough. That's well, it. it is going to be difficult, but Nathaniel Klein, I mentioned before, 87 stamina. He can go up and down the pitch with that stamina. Also has a great sprint speed, as I said before. There's pretty much nothing else. We've discussed both of them throughout. You guys ready to vote? Yeah, this is going to... Yeah. Whoever wins this is going to deserve this. All right. <laughs> is that sarcasm? <laughs> nah, seriously. All right, three, two, one, go. I put Deshilio. I put Deshilio. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Yes. I put, I put Deshilio is a loser, and I was wrong about Danilo. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've done it. I've actually made Deshilio the best fullback on FIFA 15. <laughs> How did well, I think it's what you said about him being versatile. He can play on both sides. That's yeah. why I like him. So I think he wins in that regard. Oh my god. I'm glad yeah, that you confessed the about the Denio of... thing. So there you have it. Deshilio is indeed the best fullback in FIFA 15 career mode. As voted by us, you guys might have a different opinion. If you do, leave them in the comment section as well. We did do other videos on their channels. Would you guys like to say a little little snippet about your channel? You can go first, Sam. Uh, yeah, we did center backs. Really, really fun. A lot of debating went on there. And, um, yeah, it was, it was a hell of a bracket. Hell of a bracket. All right. And uh, yeah, guys, if you are here from my channel, uh, go ahead, hit that subscribe button automatically because Tyler is uber talented. And uh, if you guys are American, it's a double bonus because he's one of the most diehard American. Uh, if you want an amazing, amazing American career mode, go check out his Rangers Road to Glory. <laughs> <Damn it>. Career <laughs> mode. <laughs> But uh, anyway, if uh, you want to go ahead and check out my channel, go ahead and uh, type in uh, Pokemon Career Mode and you go ahead. I, I like to do things a little bit differently on my channel, as well as we did uh, Best Keepers um, in FIFA 15, and that was a pretty fun one, and we, we mastered, debatored the shit out of that one too, so yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'll leave both of their channel links in the description below. Go and check them out for sure. Leave them a sub. Tell them you come tell them in the comment section of their videos <laughs> tell that you came from my channel. Come. That would be awesome. <laughs> no, dude, definitely do not tell them you come. I don't want to know when you come. It's fine. If you <laughs> came anyway. on my video, just tell me. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Alright, and other than that, I've been all Day or Tyler, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Bye-bye. <laughs> Damn it.